I guess we're good. Well, if Ross right. says it sounds good, it's got to be good. It has to we're be. We're up. Tyrus. What it is, sir. Uh, man, it's an honor and a pleasure to be on with you. Just to let you know, uh, big fan. Uh, I, I think uh, you changed my outlook on uh, work ethic from watching uh, all your stuff uh, growing up and stuff. So I, I really appreciate uh, this opportunity today. Well, that's about the nicest thing you could have said to me because Chuck, in his role of impersonating a producer, actually put together a couple of pages of stuff. And as you can see, he actually highlighted one area. Uh, and it's you should really talk to Tyrus about work ethic. He actually values this uh, to an extraordinary degree. So that is on my list of things to talk to you about in this uh, one-hour uh, romp into extemporaneous uh, dialogue. Phenomenal. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm i stoked, man. Like, uh <laughs> I kept like my buddies today because I do, you know, my uh, I'm training right now for uh, I got a big match at the end of the month. And my buddies were like, hey, man, can you do this today? I was like, no, nah, man, I'm on with uh, Mr. Rowe. They're like, you're in the jobs. Guy? You're, how did you get that? I said, I got it. Don't hate. Don't hate the game. Sorry, man. A guy named Chuck texted yeah, him. You know, are you OK time wise? You got yeah, run fine. on the air or anything? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm not up till 445. I spread it out okay. after yesterday's debacle. I, uh, I did what? everything early. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, what? Because no. I've been, like I said, I've, I've been, it's all peak and valley. You know this better than anybody. It's like it's all at once or nothing at all. Uh, mm -hmm. And, again, I probably need to get a personal assistant or a manager or an agent, but I don't. You do. And what ends up happening is uh, Jacob, who was on vacation. Now, Jacob, know. <laughs> Jacob is the publisher for Post Hill. He, he's not a publicist. Like he's he's just cool. We get along, and yeah. he gave he they when the book came out, he gave me a publicist. Right, bless her heart. But she was like <laughs> overwhelmed by the calls and stuff, and she's like, "No, Moss, I'm out." So I wasn't even mm. getting emails on events or anything. And then I'm just going about my business uh, yesterday, and I had like getting ready for all this stuff, and I had a uh, they asked me to do uh, America reports at at two forty five, and then I got said, "Hey, we need you to come in on this, and need you to come in that." And I'm like, okay, great. And then I get a random text from Jacob going, oh, my God, uh, did you, uh, did you, Mike Rowe? I'm like, when? When is when is that? He's like, it's in 20 minutes. I'm like, what are we, you want me to tell Mike Rowe I can't do a show in 20 minutes? And then I took a breath. I said, all right, listen, listen. He's like, I'm on the beach. I'm on vacation. I was like, listen, Jacob, <laughs> Jacob, you enjoy the beach. I'll take the heat. It's my bad. I will throw myself on their mercies. To see if we can reschedule, and uh, that's what happened. And then he texted me today. I think it was quietly from his beach. I'm like, "We're good. We're fine." I blamed you. They're they're probably never going to talk to you again. But I'm fine. Don't worry about it. And he's like, "What?" No, I'm, like, no, I'm just kidding. It's, don't even, I'm just kidding. It, but it was yeah. nothing. I, it was something to me. I was embarrassed and I was really upset. And then I got the when I told uh, my other half about it, she just said. I told you I would do it. <laughs> this is like the fourth time it happened. I, I mean, I just, I, I don't like management. I don't like agents. I don't, I just, and I, a personal assistant, I have to talk to him, uh, you know, and I'm you like, need, I, you but need I, I understand something. I need, I need to step out and I just but need to get it You know it what? Done. I mean, but, but I'm, I'm with you. I, I don't, my, my business is very, very lean. Chuck's, in the sketch because I've known him for 40 years. Right. Yeah. Uh, I've never, right. I've never had an agent. I've never had a manager. I, I never had a publicist. I don't do any of that either. What's different is that you're better at my, I've seen you on the set of the five texting. And now I, now I know who you're texting. You're, you're one of those people might be me. <laughs> one of those people might be Chuck. Right. Yeah. Maybe this will make you feel better about yesterday. Two hours ago, I agreed to go live on Instagram <laughs> with this guy who's got 300,000 followers and they're all listening in and we're going to have a half hour conversation about you know the foundation it's 811 of, day it's 811 day call before yeah. you dig and i'm like right. 811's guy and so they sponsor this thing anyhow chuck gets on the phone and he sends his well you got the instructions i'm like well i don't no Instagram. I, 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 all that stuff is. I'm like a cow looking at a new gate. Uh, you and right? me both. Yep. And I'm just like, well, what is this? I follow all the instructions, but I can't get in. 
and now it's 10 o'clock, right? And you have to go live at three minutes to 10, and now it's 10 and I still can't get in. And now it's 10.05, and now I have to restart my phone, and then I have to upgrade Instagram. Meanwhile, it's working to the point where I can see him. And this poor bastard is sitting there just filling, just talking to himself minute after minute after minute. And I'm on the screen, too, but nobody can hear me. I'm literally picking up this legal pad, Tyrus. I'm writing, like, <laughs> notes, like, rebooting now. And 300,000 right. people are looking at it. So, And it's the, backwards for whatever reason. I don't know. It was a, ref, yeah. it was a reflection oh, image. No so it was all backwards. It. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> So the point, aside from commiserating, is to ask this question. Is there a more sickening feeling in that moment when you know people are waiting on you? No. In a mm. place where you can't get. It, for me, it makes me throw up in my mouth. Because I feel like yeah. it's a direct reflection of my character. I feel <laughs> 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 Or your competence, yeah, either one. Like, but I feel like that's the moment I become every person in entertainment I hate. You know, and yes. like it's like it's a personal affront. I feel like this is, the, and that's me at my worst. Like you are seeing me on completely out of un, out of control, lost, and I look like I don't care because I'm staring at the screen, going, I, "I've had the same problem." <laughs> you know, I, you know, and then, and then of course, then then the cussing starts. You know, and then they're just seeing, <laughs> like today. I, I luckily all Chuck saw was me eating uh, pistachios because I didn't know how to do anything, yeah. and I was like, "Well, I'm just going to sit here and stare at him while you guys figure it out." And he's like, "And I'm going, hello, yeah, and I, hello." But I am I because it becomes personal to me. I won't move. I'll just sit there and act like I don't see him because I'm not. I can't hear him, and I don't know how to. I, my sign language is horrible, so I'm just going to act like I don't see him until it's fixed, and that's exactly what I did. And he'll tell you, well, like, you know what? You you've got a career in acting, man. Yeah, I believed yeah. you. I, I totally nope. believed. I was like, you didn't see he can't hear me. <laughs> I'm not talking. Like, I'm not gonna embarrass myself because I. I and this I is told where him. wisdom. This is where wisdom can really help you. Yes. And humility serves no purpose at all. No, no, because I was I was terrified. I was like, uh, after yesterday, and now you tell me the sound doesn't work. Uh, I'm gonna lose it. So, but it, uh, luckily they had it fixed and it, w it was all good. But I'm completely with you, man. I I don't do the live Instagrams just for that reason, because I've yeah. yet to figure it out yet. I'll, I'll I'll never do another one. And even it's this, I me. I went to Fox and I said, please help me with this, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't trust my computer in the office. I've had too many problems with it, and uh, they hooked me up. It was great. So, uh, you've said you've said some really kind things about Fox and I want to ask you about them because obviously it's a <laughs> it's a black and white time that we're yeah. living in but I if I remember right it was just something along the lines of a you just never walked into a friendlier more inclusive fairer place or something like yeah, that I, I got it right here uh, on page 177 you said I can tell you personally Fox News is the single most inclusive tolerant and fair place I have ever worked yeah hands down <laughs> Not even, uh, not even close. Uh, and the reason being was I was never asked to do anything. I'm still waiting for directions. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, and that's as real as it gets. I'm telling you right now, if I worked at CNN or MSNBC, I would have to have a suit on like everybody else. And if I would have showed up to work like this, they would have been like, no. <laughs> like, that's not how we mm -hmm. do things here. All mm -hmm. Fox asked me to do is be the very best me, and if it works out, they'll pay me handsomely for it. And if it doesn't, they won't. And that's about as fair as it gets. And I, this, this thing rose, and I was still waiting. I was still looking for what, what point the white supremacist comes in and tells me to get out of here. <laughs> um, it didn't happen. Because uh, Larry Elder doesn't work for Fox. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here's a perfect example. My book is not with Fox. My book's mm -hmm. not with Harper Collins. It's not with it's Post Hill. Nobody from Fox called me and says, "Hey, we want to promote your book." You know, mm -hmm. Fox didn't do that. But Dana Perino, Brett Baer, mm -hmm. Greg Gutfeld, Judge Janine Waters, "Hey, we want we love your book. We want to talk about your book. Will you come on our show?" None of them had to do that. The Brett Baer thing, I was. I'm on Brett Bear. Like I look at Brett Bear like a Walter Cronkite. He is a newsman. 
So when he asked me to be on his show, I was completely, there's that humbled world again. And yep. he didn't give me any directions. He, and he brought me on. We talked about a news story. And thank God it was something I was versed in. And then when he took his glasses off and said, I want to talk to you about this, I thought, oh, shit, what would he find? Because, <laughs> Cause you know, when, when you're watching, you know, I got, when you're watching, Brett yeah. Bear goes like this, takes the glasses off and holds right. them, it's about to be, it oh, says no. here in that's chapter more... six, and we have, a, you know, <laughs> yeah. my sources said that that date is incorrect. Do you have a response, yeah. sir? 